as you know, it's very tricky to get seen by your GP uh, for anything because they're just so busy. It's not they don't want to see you. They're just overwhelmed with work. So say you're there, you're worried about your mole and you contact the GP surgery. You try and get past the receptionist and you finally get an appointment in, say, 10 days. Well, you may not want to wait 10 days. Or they might say, well, send us a photo. Mm -hmm. Send us a photo. So you email for a photo. It's just a photo on your camera, isn't it? It's not got a, you've, they've not posted you a 2,000 pound dermatoscope. They've just said, send me a photo. So they'll look at that photo. And most of my friends who are GPC, they end up seeing these patients. They go, well, I can't make a call. That's the right thing. They can't really tell you what it is off the macro image. I call it a macro image, a general photo. So they bring you in, they'll have a look. They may or may not have one of these. They probably haven't had the training. And they'll probably go, okay, I'm not sure, refer. As a consequence, departments like mine will receive more referrals a week for that patient with a changing mole than we have appointments for. So we have to cancel all our other activity to manage this workload, this bow wave of referrals coming in to our little department. Bearing in mind there's only a handful of us. And therefore anyone else who wants to see me for their eczema, their psoriasis or their hair loss has to wait and wait and wait. And you could wait a year before you're gonna get seen for your rash that's keeping you up at night and keeping your wife up at night and stopping your kids sleeping because I've got so many patients coming in on this other pathway called the two-week weight cancer fast track pathway. Got to see those patients can't miss the skin cancer. How many of those do you think actually have a skin cancer? I would hate to even guess. How, how many? 5%. Yeah. Is it 5? 5%. Round here, our GPs are good. It's probably slightly higher. It's probably more like 8 or 9%. Their hit rate's higher. In other parts of countries, it's lower. Mm. No way. So I'll see 100 patients and 5 might have a skin cancer, as in a melanoma or, or one of those non-melanoma squamous cell carcinoma types. So lots and lots of reassurance going on. Not much, not much need. Plus, you've taken a day off work. You've paid to park. You may have driven 45 minutes each way for me to come in, get my thing and go, you're absolutely fine. I might check the rest of your skin while you're there as well, make sure there's nothing else. So anyway, back to what we've got on the table. So, okay, so this is a dermoscope. It's a, like this, it looks very different because that's for me to use in clinic. If I just want you to send me a photo, this has been developed so you can attach it to your phone. So you've taken your photo mm -hmm. and then you put one of these on, depending on what camera you, you phone you've got. As long as you've got a camera in the top corner, yeah. You put it over the camera lens, so the slot's on, it's pretty much fits any camera. And you set your phone up, put a bit of oil on your skin, and you push it against and let your camera do the work. And it will focus and take that image I referred to with the detail of the surface of the mole. You send me that, and now, we've got, now we're talking. Now <laughs> I can tell you, you need to get in here sharpish, or now I can say, do you know what, you don't need to come in, that's not even a mole because of oh, that 95% right. that are benign, most of them aren't moles. We talked about the nevus and melanocytes. There's something else altogether. Something called a hemangioma, but benign blood vessel collection. You weren't to know that. You just spotted it and went, what the hell is that? Is it a wart? Is it a seborrheic, what's called a seborrheic keratosis? These hard, rough things that people get on their backs. Is it a skin tag? But you don't know because you're worried. You just know there's something on your skin. It's new, it's changing, it's bled, it's itched. I've got to get it checked. So by deploying these we can send these to patients <clears throat> you can complete a questionnaire on the app that comes with it and you can come through and then someone like me can review that image remotely in seconds really mm. you know within a minute i can make a decision whether or not you need to come in and will be seen and the the plan is that this could be sat with the gp receptionist mm. so when you ring in saying you're worried about your mole they can say, well, do you have a smartphone or do you have, or do, you, does, do you have access to one? How do you fancy sending some photos through? And that's where that could sit. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, it's not currently commissioned within the NHS. That's something we're working towards, but it is available for you to pay to have that, mm -hmm. um, that, that report. Mm -hmm. How much is one of these? Well, the, the, the lens is given to you for free when you subscribe through the app and the and the currently it's around 50 pounds to get a consultant's opinion oh that's really good it's really, really 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 good yeah it's, yeah. Such, it's such a simple little thing so it? where how, how can i invest <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know you, they've done all the hard yeah, work yeah. <laughs> yeah well you can um you, you you can use it and you can share your thoughts and see what you think but yeah i've got i've got one on my face mate that um well i would check before i go home but, but <laughs> we, when we started this this was never this was never started out as a business venture this was yeah. started out to try and solve the problem 
of capacity, yeah. demand and supply. It's a, it's a fantastic um, idea, though. Yeah. And um, yes, it's not this. And yes, there'll be the naysayers who say, you, you know, it's not as good as that. Mm. But at the end of the day, 95% of those lesions are benign. And most of them, yeah. you can, so my, I or my colleagues could recognize mm. off a humble photo taken with this and this. And you don't need to have all that other stuff around it. And by freeing up those appointments, mm. you come on in with your bad psoriasis and bad eczema because I don't need 300 appointments now. I only need 150. Do you think the NHS will commission that at some point? We, yeah, I've got some. There's, we're going to be doing some more studies. <laughs> we've, going to, we've, we've done a pilot. We've trialed it. We've shown it's fit yeah. for purpose. Yeah. We're hoping to get some engagement with um, uh, local GP practice who are going to uh, run a test with us, see how much time we can save them. Because at the end yeah. of the day, that's what everyone's short of is time. Mm -hmm. um, and if I can look at that image in a matter of a minute, because at the end of the day, you've done all the hard work at home. You've done all the photos. You've filled out the questions all within the app. I just need to look at it and tell you yes or no. You know, that's brilliant. Reassure, not sure. Come on in.